Hey friends, it's Charles here, and I want to talk about Power Girl number 11. I have been loving this series. Um, it has a little bit of everything, a lot of drama, um, good action. Uh, the last two issues were tie-ins with the House of Brainiac, uh, that big DC Universe event. And this issue right here is um, what I call a palate cleanser. You know, right coming out of a big event or going into a story arc, it's, you know, really a self-contained story that may not be so focused on advancing a certain plot, but kind of, you know, getting to see character beats and develop them outside of a continuing arc. And this book right here, it had me laughing out loud. Um... Great humor in it, uh, great character development as far as Power Girl. You get to see her confidence, but at the same time, her self consciousness um, about kind of being the uh, black sheep of the super family. Uh, you know, her, her um, you know, issues kind of fitting in with this universe and being naive to. A lot of what's going on, and she is preparing for a date. And so she has, you know, this this combination of confidence, yet social anxiety, and excitement about a date. And she is driving her roommate crazy, uh, who happens to be a telekinetic superhero. She's trying to sleep, and, you know, this, this part of the story... Um, it, it really, it feels like a real sibling relationship. You know, you get to see her not in peril, but uh, different hijinks going on with her. And, you know, it, it's, it, like I said, that, that part is very funny. Um, you know, so, you know, they find out that, you know, he's going to take her to the aquarium. And the big action scene in this book it doesn't involve her. The action is just to set up the uh, real um, high point of this issue. Um, you have the tension, the uh, trepidation, and the build up to this date, and it's and it's it's cute. And it's awkward, and it's relatable, and then, you know, a, some kind of water villain pops up out of nowhere. What's going on? I haven't seen this character before. And you see her take off to go change into her outfit, and her date takes off to go change into his superhero outfit, which is like, whoa, this cat's a superhero too. And then still, um, who works with... Um, John Still, I forgot his name, the, uh, John Henry Still, yeah, she's works with him, but Still comes flying in and takes care of the villain, and these two are left, you know, with nothing but questions, like, you know, oh, you're a superhero, oh, you're a superhero, are you trying to set me up, are you trying to be... And, you know, the action, they really have nothing to do with, but it was just a plot point to get them um, to discovering that they are, you know, both superheroes and, you know, trying to fit into the regular world. And so I thought that was kind of funny. Kind of reminded me of Mr. and Mrs. Smith when they find out they're both hitmen. And, um, You know, it was it it was a fun read. And on top of that, as well, you know, Paige, you know, she has her alter ego to keep up. Who works, you know, writing a column for the Daily Planet, and she works for Lois Lane. And you know, she is offered a promotion that will get her out in the field more, as opposed to writing a column, because you know it's obvious she's distracted and she doesn't know she wants to. 
you know, take your job and, and there's so much going on. And it really has romantic comedy vibes. And that's a good thing in my book. I love romantic comedies. I love all kinds of genres, but I mean, I never get these hair on romantic comedies. You know, you have beautiful women, you know, sweet stories, funny stuff, you know. And this right here, it, it really doesn't advance too much, but it's all good stuff. A lot of funny, teensy bit of drama, and, um, you know, it's kind of kicking off a new arc. But, I mean, even if you've never read Power Girl, if you get number 11, 2024 DC Comics, you're not going to feel cheated out of a story. Um, you know, this is one of those books that is, in my opinion, a good standalone. So anyway, get a little comic book store. And if you don't have a little comic book store, I always suggest Coffee and a Comic. And right now, you go to coffeeandacomic.com, you put in code OLD, N-E-L-D-W-Y, you get 15% off your purchase. And on top of that, they have 80% off the select back issues for their summer sales. So go check them out. It's a great company. They have great service, great price on shipping. If you watch my comic book un unboxings, you know that not only you get free coffee, but the packaging safe and secure, weatherproof, and, um, you know, works like clockwork. So go check them out and show them some love. Get your discount. Get your power girl. I will see you guys next time. Until then, keep reading the books. I am out.